Hello and welcome to this video on how to edit the viewport and how to create a custom viewport scale. So in this case I want to set up my cross section so I have uh, two cross sections in two different scales. So first I will delete the viewport and then I will type in vports hit enter and then when I'm in the new viewports I can select for example a single viewport I can have two view viewports in the vertical direction I can have two in the horizontal directions and so on so in this case I want to uh, select the two in the horizontal direction and say OK and I will just draw from the edge of the frame something like this and down to here and now we can see I have the uh, two viewports or two cross section um, so in this case I want the upper part to be in the scale of 1 to 50 and the one in the bottom to be in 1 to 100 so if I double click within the viewport in the top we now have a fat line meaning that I'm now active within this viewport and to create the, the scale of 1 to 50 then when we are drawing or when we are dealing with road design we, are use, we will draw in meters in the model world so if I just unclick this and go to the model world and if I measure a distance for example from the edge of the driving lane to the center line I can see it's three and a half meters but when I go to the layout and if I type in di for distance and measure for example at the edge of the paper we can see this is 420 millimeters so we have a scale different of uh, 1000 so to uh, place the cross section in the right scale I need to uh, double click within the viewport and then in the bottom I have the viewport scale then I need to select the custom scale and I want to uh, create a new one so I'll click on add and this one is in the scale of 1 to 50 and I'll just call it meters and when we have a scale of 1 to 50 it means that the paper unit will be 20 because I have 1000 millimeters divided by 50 that will be 20 and the drawing unit is 1 so I'll click OK and just say OK to this and now once I'm still active within this viewport I can select the 1 to 50 and now this cross section is in the, in the scale of 1 to 50 so I'll just double click outside the viewport and I will do the same for the cross section in the bottom go to the viewport scale, select custom select add and this one will be 1 to 100 and meter and in this case the paper unit should be 10 so I have 1000 millimeters divided by 100 that will be 10 units just say OK and OK to this and go to the viewport scale and now select the 1 to 100 and now this is in the right scale so I'll just double click outside the viewport and if I by mistake double click within the viewport and if I start to scroll then the cross section will no longer be in the right scale so in this case I'll just reset the scale and double click and then I can select the viewport and right click and now I can select display locked and say yes so if I double click within the viewport now it's a fat line but if I start to scroll it's only the paper that will be zoomed in and out and I'm not able to change the scale of the, of the viewport and I'll just do the same for the viewport up here but this is the principle of how you can uh, create new view viewports and how you can uh, create custom viewport scales <laughs> 